We got the brand new Pokemon Presents coming out in literally just a few days, so I'm excited about it. I can't wait to see what they're gonna announce. But this video today is gonna be about what to expect out of this Pokemon Presents because there are things that I could predict which I will kind of break down in this video, which I already did a video about my predictions, but I'll mention them again in this video just in case you missed the last one. But basically, there are things that you can kind of expect from Pokemon Presents, whether it be like updates or just some other random little things here and there. Also guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a ton and I appreciate anyone that does show support. So I think one huge thing to kind of expect from this Pokemon Day, Pokemon Presents, is going to be a new movie announcement. So there probably will be a new movie coming out, and they're probably going to announce it for the Pokemon Presents. And there's a theory that alongside this new movie, they're going to also announce the new mythical or another mythical Pokemon. Because we got one mythical Pokemon from the DLC, but everyone was like, wait, this is for the DLC, not really Scarlet and Violet as themselves. So people think that this new movie is going to announce a new mythical that goes alongside just the regular Scarlet and Violet games that like without the DLC. So not including the DLC uh, mythical Pokemon, which would be really cool. So I hope that they actually do announce another mythical. Um, and that would mean that something end for Scarlet and Violet. I think there also may be some more DLC or some type of update to the game in the future. So I think another thing to expect would probably be... Just a small update to Scarlet and Violet. I don't think they're going to announce or drop like a crazy lengthy DLC. They already did that with, you know, the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc. But, I mean, if we're going to get another mythical Pokemon, they're going to do an update to the game, which be, which would be great. I think that would be a good way to kind of wrap up the Scarlet and Violet Generation 9 as a whole. With just one more mythical Pokemon, and then we have all the uh, previous updates and DLCs. There were, there were a lot of things added to this game. Um, another thing that I think we should expect is a new game announcement. I I believe there will be a new game announced and most likely released this year just because we didn't get a game last year. I don't think they're going to skip two years and there were leaks from reputable leakers or sources that suggested we're going to get a new mainline game announced this year. It's definitely not going to be like a, a brand new generation. Generation 10 is still a few years away. My prediction for Generation 10 is probably going to be like 2026 or 2027 on the next Nintendo console, um, which I don't think they're going to say anything about the new console for the Pokemon Presents just because that's more for like a Nintendo Direct for, you know, them to announce the new console. Um, this is more just for like the Pokemon games as a whole, but that also kind of begs the question like, if they're going to announce a game this year, is the game coming out on the Switch? So I guess we'll see if they're actually going to say it's for the Switch or not, whatever game they're going to announce. I personally hope they don't release a Let's Go Johto game. So like a Let's Go game based on Generation 2. I just feel like the Let's Go remakes style... I just feel like the Let's Go remake style just isn't as fun. I'd rather have just like an actual remake with some additional stuff added to it. Or like a spin-off of Generation 2. So whether it be like a Legends game or maybe a future game. There were also recent leaks about a Generation 5 and Generation 2 like Paradox game. So like Generation 2 and five in one game so johto and unova kind of like squash together i think that would be an extremely cool video game or pokemon game just because it's it's a new idea and i feel like people have played generation 2 so many times i mean we've only had the one remake of heart gold soul silver but i mean that like people have probably replayed generation 2 so many times and i feel like we need something new i feel like if we just get a remake a whole fresh remake again of like in the let's go style it's just gonna be meh you know what i'm saying because there were like the rumors of Let's Go, Togepi, and all that, which could be a possibility. I don't really have a prediction as to exactly what we're going to get, but I I do have a prediction that we're going to get a new game announced. So definitely expect a brand new announcement for the next Pokemon game. I would also really want Generation 5. A few months ago, now at this point, the biggest rumors were like Generation 5 coming back. So like Black and White 3 or even Black and White um, like a Legends game, like Legends Kyurem or Legends Unova, which I think would be so sick. Generation 5 is awesome. I don't necessarily know if we're going to get that anymore, though, because now all the recent rumors within the last month and a half, I'd say, are more based around Generation 2, but we're only a few days away, so we're going to know very, very soon, which is super exciting. I can't wait to see what they're actually going to officially announce. I'd also expect some type of Pokemon Unite update they're probably going to add a few new pokemon maybe one or two or three who knows 
but yeah they're definitely gonna do some updates to pokemon unite maybe add like a new map or something some new feature pokemon unite has a pretty big following and fan base so they usually do announce something about pokemon unite every few months and you know the presents pokemon presents would be perfect along that i'd say updates and stuff about the ios apps such as like pokemon go or just or just like the other random pokemon games in your phone or like uh, your android whatever um i'd expect something like that they'll probably drop some more pokemon on pokemon go i don't think the entirety of generation 9 is on pokemon go i'm pretty sure they just added like a select few a handful of pokemon to be released for uh, pokemon go so maybe they'll release all the pokemon i might be wrong on that i'm not 100 percent sure i just know that i've seen some generation 9 pokemon in pokemon go over the last like two months like like a few months ago they had a huge lechonk event and then the starters they added so i caught a bunch of the starters and everything a few months ago that was pretty cool tried to shiny hunt them but i never found a shiny unfortunately not sure if they're shiny locked or not i i don't know i usually don't read you know the the uh the small fine print of these announcements unless i really care about it another thing that i would kind of hope to see this is not necessarily an expectation i suppose because i've we've all been let down so many times but i hope that they announce a generation one through three port on the switch so like whether it be on the eShop and we download it like how we were able to on the 3ds and it was only i think they were like ten dollars a piece which is not bad at all it's 10 bucks and you can download generation one and two i'm pretty sure they had just generation one and two i don't think they had gen three on the eShop. i might be wrong on that but pretty sure it was just kanto and johto they had but imagine that on the switch and a lot of people would probably predict this to go alongside the nintendo switch online service so the game boy and game boy advance because they dropped that about a year ago so we would be able to easily play it on the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, which would be awesome. But at the same time, I kind of hope it's just on the eShop just because I had the, the online service last year and I, I ended the subscription just because I never really played it. I played it like once every four months and when I did, it, was, it wasn't for a very long time because I have other games that I'm playing right now that I'm enjoying more than some of the you know older games like the N64 games on the Switch. That's just me personally though. I know a lot of people do actually use it. It's just a it's just a hefty bill. I think it's like fifty dollars or sixty dollars for the year, which I mean isn't too bad if you're using it. It's actually not bad at all if you're really using it. But I just wasn't using it much, so I figured I'll just pay for the regular subscription, which is like twenty bucks a year, which is incredible by the way. I hope PlayStation and Xbox eventually drop their prices, because their Xbox is like sixteen dollars a month. That's insane. But um yeah, I really hope we get generation one through three, maybe even four ported onto the switch it would also be so cool to have them on a physical release like imagine a physical release for just a port of uh, generation one through three that would be so awesome and alongside that i would hope that one day we'll just get another colored cartridge for pokemon game back in the day we had colored cartridges for game boy game boy advance pokemon games and um i'm pretty sure on the with the ds is when they ended the colored cartridges like pokemon yellow is literally a yellow cartridge on the game boy wouldn't that just be so cool and don't you think that would bring around more press and you know talk about the games if they're if you know scarlet and violet the cartridge was actually scarlet and violet you know what i'm saying that'd be super super cool i also wonder if we do get the new pokemon game announced like if they have footage or anything about it because they've probably been developing the game for a while now it takes a few years to develop a game and like there were also leaks slash rumors of the generation 10 starter pokemon being finished and pretty much all of the generation 10 pokemon as a whole like were pretty much finished like the designs so they've been working on generation 10 probably for a couple years now meaning whatever game that they're going to release this year most likely they've probably been working on for a good three years probably i mean i'd i'd assume so I'd love to see some gameplay. It would probably just be a short teaser. I don't think they would drop like a whole trailer just yet. You never know though. It'd be so awesome to get a huge trailer. And if they do, I definitely want to do a breakdown of it. I've always wanted to do a trailer breakdown. I've never actually done one, but I enjoy watching them on YouTube. So I've always wanted to do one low key. I think that'd be pretty cool. Other than that though, I just I just expect to see like a bunch of random little things here and there. We'll probably see the announcement for the game the new game towards the very end of the presents they usually don't give the uh, biggest spotlight release in the beginning so probably see the big game release at the end of the presents but hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys are expecting and want to see i'll see you guys in the next video